Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. Bought a couple of these. In fact, I've still got one in the package, which I'll show you in just a second. And I'm going to tell you the price on this because you won't believe it. Honestly, you won't even guess close. Uh, this is a soldering gun. And as you press the trigger, it pushes solder out this tube. This looks like it might be Teflon at the end. And it meets the tip of the soldering iron. So as you do this, you can see the solder is now way out here. Uh, it pushes the solder out. The idea being that this is going to be maybe your right and left hand, and then you can... You know, sometimes you need three hands to do something. This will accomplish that. I did find that um, a buddy of mine uh, in in uh, in Florida uh, also got one of these, and he found that the solder that comes with it, and I'll show you that in just a second, was not rosin core solder. Now I was trying to make it work, and I couldn't do, I couldn't, I couldn't solder with the darn. So um, he uh, he figured it out. So. Uh, gratitude to uh, uh, to Phil Maxwell for figuring that out. The uh, package has the soldering gun in it and a solder sucker. This is the kind with a plunger and you load it, you spring load it, heat up the connection and it sucks the solder out. The solder that comes with it is useless uh, and there's a couple like tweezer gizmos in the package. And the way I found out about this was I was watching um, a YouTube video and a commercial came up for that same gun. And it was $29. And the guy was just soldering connection after connection after connection, one handed, just doing it perfectly. Each one was absolutely spot on and I thought, well you know for 30 bucks it's not so bad so I uh, went to uh, Amazon and they had them at 30 bucks usually Amazon has some of the lowest prices bought those off of eBay and uh, they came in a couple of days out of Southern California company that had them had plenty of them uh, and I got it um, Phil got his at about the same time, and uh, it actually works okay. It's not perfect. It takes a little bit of skill, um, but it works. It gets hot enough. The, the tip is not the best, so it's got to be constantly clean. I mean, every time you use it, you got to clean it, and um, it gets hot enough to, to melt the solder. I changed the solder to a slightly larger diameter. I think it's 0.8 millimeter. And um, that helped as the solder came out the tube. Sometimes it was the, some of the solder I had, it would just sort of sag under its own weight. So it changed it to a larger diameter of solder, and that cured that. As to the price, and again, you may want to watch the part where I'm trying to solder with it. I paid, including shipping. So just to make it clear, Actually, there were two of these in the package. So one of these, it would have been the same. In the package, free shipping. No shipping charge. Out of Southern California, came via uh, mail. I paid $7.88 for this. And for that, I don't expect much, <laughs> didn't expect much of anything. Um, but it actually works. Uh, is it my go-to soldering iron? No. But there's times when you have to get into a place where one hand is occupied with holding something and you need this thing that virtually is uh, two hands because it's got the solder and the uh, the iron. $7.88 including shipping and there were other sellers on eBay with the same product. Uh, some of them had a different label on the, on the gun so it had a different name but um, it worked. If I can find it again I'll, I'll put a link up here 
Um, and then you can, if you want to order some, you can see what it's like. So it's kind of a fun little thing. And for less than eight bucks, uh, it's going to help me here and there to do a little project. So uh, I'm, I'm not disappointed in it at all. I'm Jim W6LG.